in general, a four-week taper is the amount of time that you need to start dropping somebody down to be completely rested for their race. Most, they did a research study in Europe and they found that for most endurance athletes, runners, cyclists, triathletes, about 90% of them were about uh, a week away from being really truly tapered and fresh and rested for their big events. And most of those athletes were tapering down three weeks. So it takes four weeks. But each sport is not the same. Your longest run week should end five weeks out from an Ironman. It takes running long, your body longer to actually recover completely from a lot of running. So this year Ironman's on October 9th. Is that right, Mike? Okay, I'm going to show up on the 10th. But um, anyway, so five weeks before that would be having the longest running week of that person's buildup end on September 5th. Cycling takes less time to recover, so this actually four-week taper is perfect for the, the bike, so that week, longest bike week of that person's buildup should be September 12th, and then the, the swim, you recover a lot quicker, so that longest, final longest week of swimming should end on September 19th, three weeks before the race. Race week, how do you keep stress low? Again, low stress, this is what we're trying to accomplish, making that day seem normal. Plan ahead. Most people wait until their taper is, they're well into their taper before they finally figure out what uniform they're going to wear for the race, which wheels they're going to use, what color handlebar tape are they going to use. I mean, all the stuff you have to think about. Tell your athletes they need to have that ready one month in advance. And then if you're lucky, they'll have it ready about two weeks, which is still good. Okay? You want to trick them a little bit. You don't have to always tell them the truth behind the things you're telling them to do. Okay? Arrive early. If you're going to a place that is much hotter than you're used to, it takes about seven days for the blood to go through protein changes to deal with heat. So if you have somebody who's training in Wisconsin and they're going to be doing Ironman in Kona, try and convince them to get there at least seven days in advance. Have them do a couple of their runs in the heat and their body can adapt. Key workouts race week. Three days out, you want to do right first thing in the morning, a swim, a bike, a run, adding up to about three hours of training. Very, very light and easy. And this will help kind of deplete some of the glycogen stores and, and reserve that you have. Get it done early in the day, uh, in the morning. And then after that, their mantra is eat, drink, and sleep. Eat, drink, sleep, eat, drink, sleep. Two days out from the race, don't do anything. This is, you know, put your feet up, get, get that last massage, whatever it is. Two, the second, two nights out from the race is the most important night of sleep. Okay, forget about the sleep you're going to get the night before the race. Everybody's too nervous and thinking, and you know it, it just doesn't happen. But that night won't affect the race one way or the other. So two nights out is when your athletes should get the most sleep they possibly can. The day before the race, and again, I'm basing this all on what you would do if somebody was going to Kona, a Saturday event. They got to do a, a little something in each sport: 500-yard swim. 20, 30 minutes spin on the bike, 10 or 12 minutes running. And when they do each one at the end, just have them do a few accelerations where they accelerate up to race speed. Just hold it there for one or two seconds and then back down. You don't want them to build up any lactic acid. But this will activate the muscle and have them ready. 